Welcome to the Stock Market YouTube. Let's talk on trends, on never ending trends. And let's pick up the example education versus entertainment. There are so many genres here on YouTube. And I think this can be an open discussion. So I invite your comment, whatever you think, please share it below. Just recently I uploaded my video, make it simple on YouTube. And I touched a little these topics and I got interesting comments and following these comments, let's share another perspective. The variety here on YouTube is so big. We find everything here. And on the other hand, people are complaining upon the algorithm. There are so many creators that create wonderful videos with wonderful topics and they complain nobody watched this. And I really can understand this. Every video is nearly a masterpiece, has a lot of information. But on the other hand, there are so many videos out there and every day more will come. And there are so many creators that want to build up their YouTube channel. They want to build up their audience. They try to analyze the algorithm without even about knowing about any details. But when you make your analysis and you came to a conclusion and they change the algorithm again, then it was for nothing. That's why I called this title stock market YouTube. There are so many genres. Some people think, tech ideas. This is good. And then they are producing a lot of videos on tech ideas. Other people say entertainment is good. And then they try to copy others to also gather an audience. And copying is never good because this is not you. When you say this is the trend, I will follow the trend. Then you are already late. The same as in the stock market. When masses are buying this stock, the crash will follow soon. When everybody is buying, it's already over. It seems like exponential growth, but the fall will come. When everybody is buying, the trend is already back in the past. And the same goes here on YouTube with genres. When everybody is producing tech videos, beauty videos, entertaining videos, copying others, then the trend is already over. So the masterpiece is to find the start of the trend. And therefore it's so important to be yourself because what you can offer, nobody will offer. And when you make it for a while, there might be people that try to copy you, but you are way ahead and we always should reflect. Is this still needed? Does the actual audience, the audience of the presence still want this? And I think we can find this soon in our views. And in my video, make it simple on YouTube. I said, I think education is slowing down and entertainment is everything. And then I said, stop. Wait a minute, dive a little deeper. When it seems entertainment is everything, this means on the stock market, everybody is buying entertainment, exponentially growing. And this is already the sign that entertainment is already falling down again. Not now, but soon. We have to see the broader picture. Where are we now and what can happen? And then I thought, when everybody goes for entertainment and you come a little late and also try to make entertainment, then it's already over. Do you really want to do this or do you still have good stuff for education? Because the time when people are full of entertainment, more laughter, videos get shorter. How short will the videos become? Just one, two seconds. Now we are at 60 seconds, 30 seconds with the shorts. Is it even better to make 
to second video? No, this is just a trend. And we also should imagine as YouTube is saying, this is the best way to grow your channel. Is this really true? Or will they just collect a lot of people that try to produce a lot of shorts to make a good competition to TikTok? And creators think, when I make short content, this will push my channel. Probably this will push YouTube in general, but not your channel. Because you are accumulating people that only want 10, 20 second videos. And then you imagine, then I will bring them to my channel. And when they are on my channel, they will watch my 8, 10 minutes videos. This will never happen. This is the wrong audience. Short form video viewers are not long form video viewers. And we also should look at the age of these people. Is this really your audience? This is why I call this going for the trends. Stock market YouTube. People are looking, what is the peak? And then I will go for the peak. But imagine you are at the sea and there's a big wave. Oh, this wave is good. And you try to catch this wave for surfing. This will take you one, two seconds. And in this moment, the wave is already falling down, dying at the beach. You came too late, even if this were just one, two, three seconds. And the same is going for the trend. When you see what the trend is, you are already late. Therefore, it's much better to build your trend. Be the first in your idea. Make your own wave. Bring all your energy and make your wave. Build your trend. You grow with your wave, with your energy, and then you can make a beautiful surf. And when others say, whoa, I want to do the same, they are already late. This trend is nearly over and you go for the next trend. This is the stock market YouTube. Is it better to go for education? Is it better to go for entertainment? Better tech ideas or beauty ideas? When you think this is the right idea, then you are already late. Develop your own wave, your own trend. Prepare yourself. Become ready. And when the moment is there, you have a wonderful ride. Buy in the bear market not in the bullish market. I think this strategy also works here on YouTube. And you know what? The best trend that no one can ever copy is be yourself. You are unique. No one can copy your outfit, your voice, your ideas, your presentation. You smile. Just realize that you are the wave. The perfect wave for you. And no one will ever copy you. What means? Just continue your way. And don't try to copy trends. When you come closer, they already died. And then you try to get the next trend. And, the ne and you always come late. Don't do it. Be the original. Be your original. And never be a copy of anybody. Thank you so much for watching. Leave your comments below this YouTube stock market. What do you think? Comment below. Thank you very much for your like, for your subscription. And you know what? I have over a thousand videos in my archive. Did you scroll a little? You find good topics, inspirations, motivations, affirmations, music stuff, and some crazy stuff. Thanks for being part of this channel.